the second video. So, um, in our Color My Sketchbook Dragons tutorial, we started off with the first phase, which was um, using markers to lay down our base color. And the second um, step that we're going to do is outlining. So, I've grabbed a handful of <laughs> Statler um, Tri Plus fine liners. I've tried loads of different fine liners and these ones are definitely my favorite. These are the four millimeter ones. And for our outlining, we're going to use the following colors. So we're going to use an aqua kind of color, a, a medium blue and um, a light blue, a light pink or a medium pink. And then this I'd say is kind of like a cerise or magenta color and a light brown or um, kind of fawn colour, let's just say. Unfortunately these pens don't have numbers or anything so I can't tell you what the colours are called. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to outline everything and we're going to do it methodically. I'm going to go through the different um, sections with you and for some of you who've maybe not done outlining or, or seen it happening, this might be helpful for you. So with outlining, um, we're going to, I'm going to start over here with the fairy wings. I'm going to use this aqua colour. We're going to trace along the inside of the lines. Um, you know, with outlining you really don't need to be too exact. I'm sure you can see it's a theme with me with colouring. You don't need to be too exact. Um, basically what you're wanting to do is just trace the inside of the spaces nicely. Um, it gives your the area that you colour in, a lot of definition um, and also the areas where you know we've left white it starts to fill in the colour so there you can go, you can see I'm just um, going doing the outlining um, tracing the lines It helps with outlining, um, it's the kind of thing that the more you do the better you get at it, so it does need a bit of practice, is to, as far as possible, in each of your shapes or areas that, you color, that you're outlining, sorry, try and do the whole thing without lifting your hand, you know, so that you get a nice um, smooth application of the outlining effect on each of your areas. So there we go, I think the fairy ones are done. Just that little tiny patch down there. Um, and you can see already from where we started, it's, it's, it's adding a lovely um, definition already. So we're going to colour into those. That's the aqua colour. It's the only place that we're going to use this, is on the fairy wings. Then the dragon. I was looking at this guy just now. I think his name should be Maximus. He's like a really nice big dragon. Um, we're going to use this um, light brown colour. And it's a lot of outlining, I'm warning you, but don't um, get despondent, it's a really fantastic process and you'll see as you go along that it's going to make such a massive difference to your picture at the end of the day. This is all part of laying the groundwork. These are Once you've done all of this, you'll see just now our colouring gets easy. Can you see I made a mistake there, I went over the line, I shouldn't have, don't worry, don't panic, ignore it, move on, don't even give it another second thought. Going to, um, you want to kind of capture all the detail, go around, um, along here, everywhere, 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 we're going to go and do some very nice outlining here. And we're going to colour into this just now. So you can see I'm just following the lines. Then it does such a great job of putting in all this shadow and shading detail for us. I also find personally that once I've spent some time doing this, doing the outlining, that I kind of feel like there is a, a different kind of intimacy that you have with your picture. You know exactly what you've got to do and what all these little areas are. Um, I love doing that. So that's an example of over there. I just want to do a little bit of the of the scales and stuff down here to give you an idea. So um, let's just start over here, no problem. We're just going to go along these lines all the way from them around. Again, mistake, don't worry. And then in and around here. 
don't get too involved in doing all these little shadow lines. Just um, do your outlining around each of the different scales. And we're going to do lots of colouring into those shaded areas. And as you can see, as I'm doing it, it's starting to get a different kind of level of definition here, which is going to look fantastic when we start colouring. If you go over a line twice, don't panic. If you forget to do one, don't panic. You can always come back and do it again. I find this quite therapeutic. So there you can see the difference in um, this area that we've done and this area that we haven't done. And once we start to add our pencils in there as well, our pencil layering looks fantastic. So everywhere, everywhere, everywhere you're going to do the dragon in brown, including these areas over here that are already, that we put this green in. We're going to use the same brown. We're going to use the same color because we're trying to create a balance of the color that we're using. So even though we've used a different contrast for the front piece, the breast, um, the breast piece, it's still part of the same dragon. So if we use the same brown, it just helps to um, keep the colors kind of balanced with each other. So that's that. Then these, um, the, bre the breast plate, um, these pieces over here that we're going to do um, like in the silver blue. I've used the medium blue um, outline for outlining here. Just gives it a nice contrast. Don't want it to be too dark. We just want to pick up the overall tone that we're going for here, which as soon as we're doing silver, it's a little bit more bluish, I would say, so we can use it quite confidently. Just following the lines. If then it goes thick, I go thick. If then it goes thin, I go thin. That's my rule of thumb. Um, the rest of this detail will colour in, so don't worry too much about it. And the same over here, basically just tracing the outline of the whole area. You know, sometimes when you're colouring, you might see, oh no, look, I need to put a little bit more in there, or you skip to place out, don't worry about it, you can always just add it. This is where we made a mistake just now. Added in the wrong colour and I've coloured over it. And you, if I didn't say anything, you wouldn't even know. I'm just saying that so that you can see that really, sometimes we make what we think are huge mistakes and really they're just in non events. Put that in like that as well. So those guys are all going to be blue. Don't forget your stirrup as well. Then for the fairy dress, we're going to use this um, medium pink. The light pink, I think, is a little bit too light. This one gives a nice um, kind of contrast of color. Again, tracing the whole shape. There's this whole like, detail that's going on there underneath the arm over here as we go along everywhere. I move my page around quite a lot when I'm colouring. I like to see, be able to have a nice good close-up. Um, I don't know if you do that as well. If you haven't to give it a try, you might find it easier to actually see what you're doing. Um, because we're doing this dress in the pink, and pink's quite a light colour, and the shading that's been done um, here is quite dark, I find myself like, more inclined to go over some of these darker lines as well just so that they look pink rather that they um rather than they look black it's also something i sometimes just fiddle a little bit with when i'm coloring in but just to get rid of that uh, kind of blackness just give it another kind of all along the edges here as well you can see all my white streaks that I've left. I'm sure you're very intrigued as to what we're going to do with those. You know, this is also something you can just fiddle with a little bit. Colouring, I find, is more about fiddling here. It's not so exact and precise. You have to give it a bash, see how it goes, and always come back and add something or, you know, put a bit more colour there. I also, with my colouring, I 
tend to do colouring a bit lighter to start off with. Um, you know, my feeling is that you can always build up colour, you can make it darker, it's quite difficult to take it away once you've got going. Then in video one, we spoke about um, the kind of the saddle blanket, and I said that we needed to do some more, some outlining before we did the colouring. This is the perfect opportunity. We're going to use the cerise or the magenta um, kind of pink and follow around the outside of these um, crosses like that. It's a little bit fiddly, these areas in between here, uh, spe specifically for colouring with the markers. So I find that the fiddly little areas if I help to define where it is that I need to do the marker or the colouring, um, it just makes it easier. So there we go, for example, those are the crosses. And then all the way around here on the outside. The um, detail on here, um, these areas, we're going to do gold. So I'm going to use this lovely bright yellow colour from the Giotto um, Turbo Giants and add in all this detail over here in yellow and sorry to say I forgot to mention this just now but um, with outlining in yellow the best colour really to use is orange and I can't find mine right now I'm really sorry about that so this area over here you're going to outline in orange and the rest of it's all going to be done um, with this magenta colour so there we go, you're going to carry on like that. And then for the crow, because we are going to make the crow darker, um, but with the yellow underneath, we're going to build the colour off the top of it, it's going to give it this really lovely grow, glow. Sorry. So I'm going to use the medium blue, not the dark, dark, dark blue, because it's just a little bit too dark. And even though this one might also seem dark. Um, I think it's the perfect colour for it. So we get to do some really nice um, definition and outlining with this colour. Carry on like that, the whole crow. We're not going to do his feet blue. We're going to use this fawn colour just to do that. Seems like a nice opportunity to do them. There we go. And also just his beak, but just that little piece like that. And on the eye as well. Fairy's hair, we are going to colour in, so we're not going to do outlining for that right now. And for the leather, we're going to use the same um, the same brown colour and just do the outlining. There you can see already makes a nice contrast. Um, so all the leather bits, all the leather trim, we're going to outline. Um, with the brown as well, black brown. Here we go. Straps over here. All of these guys. Let me do with the brown. So you guys are gonna crack on with that. Um, have I covered everything? Oh. These, uh, where the spines and stuff are as well on the inside here, you can also do these a little bit with the brown. Try and keep it as close to the edge as possible. Um, doesn't have to be too precise, but just try and keep it um, quite close there. And we're going to colour in with that, we're going to colour in with green, and we're going to add to that as well. So, I think we've used all of our pens up. Um, light blue for the metal plates pieces, brown for the dragon, yellow with orange outlining for the gold trim in the saddle and blanket, cerise on this piece over here to outline around the crosses and then also all the way around, brown on the breast piece, uh, breast scales of the dragon, brown all the way everywhere else on the dragon as well and medium blue on the crow. So I think that that pretty much um, covers the outlining. Take your time with it. Um, don't panic. It doesn't matter if you go over the line, if you miss a space because we're going to color into it. 
and part of the foundation or, or laying foundations of, of our picture is in doing the base layers and the outlining and once we start colouring with our pencils we're going to colour away everything that right now might look like a, um, an imperfection to you. So keep going with that, should keep you going for a little while, enjoy it, it's a really nice process doing the outlining um, and we'll catch up with you a little bit later for video number three.